this Thanksgiving, we were all sitting around the table and included in the company was my father-in-law, the minister, and my brother, the arch-atheist. And my mom asked my father-in-law to say some sort of something, I don't know what she said, to start off the meal. He had everybody hold hands and started off with, Grand Creator, we thank you for this and that. (laughs) My brother looked like he was going to vomit. He opened his eyes, rolled his eyes, opened his mouth, (laughs) and mouthed, oh my God. And so my father-in-law continues on with this grace slash prayer, which I have pretty much just tuned out over the years and resigned that it's just going to happen. But my brother had never been exposed to this. And he, my father-in-law is going on and on and on with all of, you know, all of the nonsense that, come, that comes with that. And he stops, and then it's silent for a while. And you can see the sweat on my brother's forehead, literally, sweat. Like the Tim Minchin poem, Storm. He's visibly shaking, and he says, You know, I would like to say something. <laughs> I'm like, oh God, here it comes. I would like to thank the ancient Greeks for mathematics and for teaching us how to do agriculture in the proper mass form and for creating modes of transportation that we learn from. And now we can have international and interstate commerce to begin to bring this food to us. And he starts going on and on about the science of agriculture and how logic and reason and mathematics have, are actually what have allowed us to have this meal, not belief in some kind of supernatural being. And they were sitting right across each other at the Thanksgiving table. And then he stopped and there was silence. <laughs> and I thought it was just the most awesome thing. My father-in-law looked like he was about to vomit on the table. And then my brother says, and one more thing. I would like to thank Sai for Gangnam Style. Let's eat. <laughs> it was a glorious Thanksgiving moment. And with that, I shall sign off.